La ausencia es algo que está presente en mi trabajo. Es como un hoyo que yo trato de excavar, eh, buscando qué hay más atrás. Cómo yo puedo proyectarme en situaciones que nunca sucedieron. Y el ICI, ¿no? que siempre también en Cuba imaginamos. La relación que yo pude tener con mi abuelo fue solamente epistolar, que no, nunca pudimos conocernos. Es parte de esa ausencia que nunca viví. Las cartas que mi abuelo me enviaba eran cartas que iban dirigidas a la escultora que yo quizás un día pudiese ser. Lo efímero me interesa mucho. Para mí es un desafío. El barro, la arcilla, o el mimbre, o la madera. Todos estos materiales para mí tienen relación con lo que es la vida también. Cómo van cambiando eh, las situaciones, eh, los espacios, las vivencias. Me, me conecta con lo que somos, ¿no? Somos materia, somos, somos, venimos de la tierra, volvemos a la tierra. ¿Cómo percibo el mundo? Algo sobre mí como un americano, pero también sobre mí como un africano. Y creo que esa bridge es muy interesante porque puedes ver cómo puedes retextualizar el futuro basado en recordar el pasado. What I'm trying to stitch together is the way in which I see the landscape moving in all its different parts. I've been taking photos of moments where there's like this expanse and there's probably this one small introspective moment. I'm not necessarily going after exactitude. It's based on reality, but I like to extend it into the space that's always moving. I figure myself as a, as a musician, you know, taking the sheet music and then maybe riffing on that to make my own solo. I think about the textures of a space, the weathering surface, an entrance into a place or an exit out of a place, erosion and corrosion, real life and its different parts. All of it is trying to articulate a totality of a world building as well as the history that's there. Monumental work has the ability to make someone uncomfortable. And so I started thinking about existing within comfort and discomfort at the same time. It's kind of like what the queer experience is. I am really just trying to create a home, a South, a Texas that I didn't have to leave. Like what do the, the little towns on the outskirts look like? And what do the people in them look like? And how do people like me fit into those spaces? So it became really important to me that the way that I was making the work resonated with the images that I was producing. So I wanted to find a way to break out of those gender norms and out of those expectations that had been placed on me as a woman. So I started learning woodworking and quickly became a way for me to kind of see what structures I could dissolve, but also reconstruct both materially and metaphorically in order to kind of alter and like interrupt and, and create a new space or a new world that's kind of both actual and imagined more of a like a, an inclusive liberated utopia in a way <laughs>